Today I'm going to show you how to paint the Ludwig's Holy Blade Hunter from Bloodborne board game. Hey everyone, Sam here from the Tabletop Hub and today I'm painting another Hunter from Bloodborne the board game from Simon. And this isn't going to be a very long guide. I've tried to keep everything as simple as I can, so if you're new to painting and want a simple way to get paint on these miniatures and have them look good, I think you'll really enjoy this and find it helpful. So first off, I primed the miniature in matte white and then applied a zenithal highlight with Army Painter's Dungeon Grey from below the miniature using an airbrush uh, and just pointed it up almost like a 45 degree angle in order to give a nice graduating look of dirt at the bottom of the robes. Next I took Army Painter's Dark Stone and applied this to the blade and then took Army Painter's Uniform Grey and applied this to the robe trim and the underside of any robes of the hunter to add the look that they were more shadowed than the rest of the cloth. And here's just a quick spin around of the model at this stage. Now I'm having to use a different camera for my painting guides at the moment because the other one that I've used is no longer in my possession. Apologies I can't get the close-ups I'm used to having. Um, I know that that might annoy some of you. I'm going to be saving up to maybe get a new lens that can zoom in a bit more to help with that. But here's a little spin around. Next, I took Army Painter's Greedy Gold and dry brushed this onto the blade to highlight the decal on the blade and I just finished this off with Army Painter's Plate Mail Metal and I used that to paint the edge and trim of the blade itself. For the face and skin tones, I used Citadel's Flayed One Flesh and then gave this a wash with Reichland Flesh Shade. Now once that was dried, I gave the model an airbrush with black enamel wash to darken it down just a little bit and then went back with matte white and added a very thin coat to the highlights in order to bring back some contrast. And that was it. Most of the work on this model we got done in the priming and base coat stage and from there it's all down to adding in those details, so super short video for today. Let me know what you think of it down in the comments below, but hopefully this is inspiring you to get your copy of Bloodborne painted. If so, hit the subscribe button down below to be notified of when my new videos go live and I'll speak to you all very soon.